And by the way, I really liked him on the spot, on the spot. He's very dynamic, at one time Southern Baptist, mm -hmm. and I look at the way he's dressed, very spiffy. Yes. Anyways, Pastor, so glad you came. Thank you for having me. You know, I was actually Independent Baptist, which is a little bit more fundamental than, oh my goodness. than the Southern Baptist. Okay. And uh, literally 21 years ago, I wrote a book against you. <laughs> For all the wrong reasons, because I had read and heard and, you know, watched all the out of context clips in those days. And I literally had no affinity whatsoever for anybody in healing ministry, deliverance ministry. I thought all gifts, miracles, tongues, signs, wonders ceased. I was Baptist amongst Baptists. I was an absolute cessationist. I was taught that the apostles had power. When they died, the power died with them. So when I would see you on TV, I would immediately have this bitterness that would well up in me towards anybody that was on, you know, TBN or CBN or 700 Club. And the law... He called his book Blinded by Benny. <laughs> Blinded, Blinded by, by Benny. Benny. With the white suit on the front. <laughs> With the white suit that works. <laughs> I'm pretty flamboyant now. Yeah, hey, I love it. So it just took one day for you to rub off on me. But, uh, you know, I just, I really had an absolute aversion to anything that was supernatural. Wow. But the more I read the Bible, the more powerful... The ministry of the Holy Spirit became. And so I tell people the theology of God's Word ruined my man made theology. Wow. Because I was always taught, well, you know, they just believe in experience over theology. But what I found out is that's not the truth. You believe in experiential theology, you believe your theology. That is really, really powerful. Yes. He's got a church now outside Nashville. Thousands of people. Yes. What is it, 8,000 or something? Well, we've baptized 9,500 people in the last three years. We consistently run a couple thousand, 3,000 wow. in a tent. In a, I saw the tent. Yeah, it looks quite nice. It's though. a 3,000-seat tent. But you've got to hear this man. <laughs> you know, he'll, he'll talk more about what happened with him. But it's really a needed ministry, and he just mm -hmm. did a movie. I'd like to talk about that, yes, too. Yes, absolutely. But keep going. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, this. yeah. Well, I, really what happened is my wife and I are from two different worlds. She was saved out of a ditch of addiction. I was saved out of religion. So she didn't have to unlearn anything. So what would happen is we would lay in bed at night and she would read the Bible and she would like, honey, do you realize we have power to cast out devils? We have power yeah. to lay hands on the sick. Yeah. We have power to speak an unknown tongue. And I'd be like, eh, yeah, I know the Bible says that. And I'd be careful because I didn't want to back her in the corner and, and take her fire away from her because she was just so passionate. She was so innocent in what she was learning from mm. the Holy Spirit. And I was like, nah, well, let's throw the Jake breaks on. I don't want the invitation to go too long. If anybody falls out, somebody's going to see it on the live stream and think I'm Benny Hinn, right? <laughs> and so...